Well, guys, here we are. We're in the outer court. Uh, you can see right here, it's 30 feet in length. You have this beautiful multicolored fence, is what they call it. This was the gate right here that we see here. As you can see, the purple, the blue, the scarlet red, the beautiful white that you see there. And those colors are so beautiful if you are. But look where, again, we come right to the brazen altar where it's placed right in the front. As we move to the brazen altar, we go to the laver, where the priest would wash their hands and feet after conducting their wonderful sacrifices during the time. They would have to wash their, both their hands and feet because their objective was to get into where the second curtain would be there. And that beautiful curtain right there where it comes into the holy place, people, is so beautiful in there. And we think about the, what the priest did in there. They had to tend to the menorah in the morning, nurse the lampstand, and then once a week over to the table of showbread over there. And over there where all the bread of the presence, all the beautiful utensils were over there and come right before where the veil was, in the, which would separate the holy place where to holy of holies and the altar of incense where they take the coals from the brazen altar and can you imagine when you go all the way back into the final room in the Holy of Holies where the Ark of the Covenant was and the mercy seat that was the lid, God's divine presence and glory that just dwelt upon there. We could only imagine, now we have here in Tarpon Springs, we could go back over there and experience this. What We could only imagine what it was like back in those days. Right, right, John. And uh, someone shared with me a number of years ago uh, a system of, of prayer to, you know, sometimes it's, uh, you get down to pray and, and, and your mind wanders or whatever, to use the sanctuary yes. as key points of prayer. So let's go over that again, right? So, you, so we have the gate, the entrance of the gate. Right. Uh, David said, uh, enter into my gates with thanksgiving, right? And so it's good to start our prayers with praise. It sure is. Thanking God, well, no matter what we're going through, no matter how bad it is, it's I good agree. to start with praise. with praise. And then the sacrifice. So then let God search me, O oh God, and show me my ways and see if there'd be any wicked way in me, and then start with confession. Right. right, so the next part of prayer, start with praise and then confess anything that's wrong between you and God or, 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 or me and anyone else, right? And then the next is, is the washing, right? So to accept God's forgiveness, accept God's cleansing, thanking Him for cleansing me, washing that guilt away uh, and the negative feelings and, and washing me clean. And so thanking Him for that. Then we have the, inside the uh, tabernacle is the, is, the, is the table of showbread. Uh, give us this day our daily bread and so we can be praying God which represents God's Word so so maybe it's a good time to read God's Word in your prayer time or quote a Bible or claim, claim a Bible text or ask God to give you inspiration or provide for a need if your need is bread that day or or a job that day or help that day or healing that day your daily need and then there's the the the, the menorah right so God shine light on my path direct me give me guidance today I, I should I do this should I do that what should I be doing today should I talk to this person do I have to go before my boss what should I say say God give me guidance and direction give me light on my path and help me to understand your word which is the light and then the altar of incense which was for the prayers uh, intercessory prayers sure was. so that's a good time to then pray God who do you want me to pray for Right? Who needs prayers right now? Right. Family, friends, those in need, those that are sick. And so praying for them. And then we come to the Holy of Holy, the Kodesh Kodeshim, the Ark of the Covenant, the Ten Commandments there, the mercy seat there. And we can be praying for God to fill us with His law. Write your law in my heart, in my mind. Give me the power to obey you today, to follow you today, to, to walk in your ways, to, to be illuminated with your light, surrounded with your angels, and, and walk in your ways. So that's kind of just a prayer run through, sure help keep you focused.